We're talking over a year ago, Microsoft put in a bid to purchase Activision Blizzard King. But let's slow down because Activision Blizzard King wanted to be purchased. If you're not familiar with Activision and Blizzard, you're probably familiar with King. Activision Blizzard games like Overwatch, World of Warcraft, Diablo, Call of Duty, we're talking about games with a large online user base. King on the other hand, well, they're the smallest. They got a little game called Candy Crush. Now it's wild when you think that Candy Crush is bigger than all of those other games combined, right? Massive online user base. Now Microsoft entered into this transaction to acquire Activision Blizzard King because they're looking to build a presence in cloud and mobile gaming. Over the last year, it's been a rocky road, and rightfully so. Everyone is arguing whether or not Activision Blizzard King is too large a purchase for Microsoft to make. After all, Microsoft is purchasing them for $69 billion. Most countries so far have been fine with the deal, and they are approving it. The deal was dealt a blow in the UK, when the CMA, the Competition and Markets Authority, decided to block the deal on the basis of cloud gaming. According to the CMA, Microsoft and Xbox would have too strong a hold on the cloud gaming market if it were to emerge as a main player in the gaming industry. Will cloud gaming give Microsoft an unfair advantage in the future? Well, let me lay it out and then you let me know. For the majority of gaming history, gaming has been a physical medium, which means you needed to buy a console as well as a cartridge or a disc to be able to enjoy those games. But we're in an era that is moving and trending digital. With cloud gaming, that barrier of entry is essentially gone. You'll be able to access games from remote servers and data centers all over the world using, you guessed it, the internet. People, it's a different world. So, with these games in the data centers and with these games running on cloud, Microsoft is hoping that by acquiring Activision Blizzard King, they will utilize their mobile platform to then bring the Xbox brand into a mobile future. We're talking about Game Pass on mobile. Now you can't talk gaming without talking Sony. The PlayStation has been the number one console alongside Nintendo and Microsoft has been a respectable third. Sony has argued that this deal is bad for gaming and it will be anti-competitive. But here's the kicker, throughout this entire court process, it comes out that Sony has been the company going to these publishers and paying them to stay off of the Xbox platform. Now picture this, your competition is in third place, you're has selling consoles at a 2 to 1 ratio, and you're still going to the major publishers and paying them to stay off of the platform. I'm not too sure which one is more anti-competitive. The fact that Sony is going to stop publishers from publishing games on the Xbox brand or Xbox finding out that this was the case and then deciding to purchase these companies. Whichever one you think is more anti-competitive, drop a comment below and let me know. Is Xbox purchasing Activision Blizzard King a bad thing for gaming? I look at it like this, Sony and Nintendo right now have different philosophies in how they go about gaming. Microsoft and Xbox, in a time when Xbox almost went out of business, they decided that they would then head in a cloud direction. The console market just wasn't working for them, so they wanted their games everywhere. At this moment, they decided to come up with Xbox Game Pass, a subscription service that they put all their games on, as well as did third-party deals to get the third-party publishers to put their game there. That meant that their customers can pay a subscription fee, similar to Netflix, to then access a library of games. This meant that Microsoft, from this point forward, will be moving into games as a service direction. So if you know me, you know I love pie in the skies, and if you're on this channel or have seen anything that I've done, I'm big into VR as a medium moving forward. With cloud gaming as the future, my guess is that we'll be free from the limitations of physical hardware. What I'm hoping to see, and this is my pie in the sky, is Microsoft team up with Meta to bring a cloud gaming VR services to the Meta platform. This means that we can have untethered console-like gaming in VR. And that's my pie in the sky.